Hello, we're Biscuiteers, the original hand ice biscuit company. And each year we ice around 3 million biscuits by hand. And today we'll be showing you how to ice a circle five different ways. Of course, everyone has the classical circular cookie cutter in their drawers. But are you ever stuck for inspiration on how to decorate the biscuit? Well, here are five ideas just for you. You will need, of course, a circular cookie cutter, size doesn't matter, some piping bags and some squeezy bottles. We will start with our first circle, a blank canvas ready for us to create whatever we like on. We have decided to create a beach ball. For this, you will need four different colours. You can have more or less depending on how wacky you want to make your beach ball, but we just set it on blue, yellow, pink, and of course white line icing for the outlines and details. We will start by tracing the outline of the circle with white line icing. You will then dot a circle just above the centre. This is what helps us create the 3D look of the beach ball. You will then need to draw five lines going out of this circle at a slightly curved direction, like you can see here. Next, you can flood each section with the colours you have chosen. You will need to let this flood icing dry before adding any details. We dry ours in an oven at 50 degrees Celsius for around 30 minutes. Once dried, we can add in some more details. We go back over our dot as the centre of the beach ball and then back over the lines that we made earlier. And there you have it, your beach ball is ready. On to our next design, a flower. We chose pink icing, but you can choose whatever colour you'd like for your flower. Simply create the outline. You can do this by following the circle, but not as close to the edge as the beach ball. And every now and then add some curves to it, like we do here. Once you have your desired floral shape, you can then flood the biscuit. We flooded the entire shape with pink icing and then added some texture by using purple flood icing and making a dot. This gives the flower a bit of life, as no flower is ever just one block colour. Once your flood icing has dried, you can add some details. Don't worry too much if you get these wrong, as every flower looks completely different. Just try to copy what we do here. You can make your petals as large or as small as you'd like. We then add a bud to our flower in yellow line icing by just making a small circle on top of our original flooded purple circle. Next, you need to add some lines coming out of the centre. We did this with purple line icing. Simply draw a few lines around the purple circle going outwards. Lastly, we added some detail to the bud by adding some green dots. If you created more of these with all the different colours, you could make a whole bouquet of biscuits, which would make a lovely gift for any occasion. Time for our third design. We have created a dog with our circle. We wanted to show that not every design has to be strictly circular shaped. This one is perhaps a little trickier, but we're certain you can do it. We decided to ice a spaniel, but you can choose any dog you'd like, maybe even a Dalmatian if you're feeling brave. Create a little semicircle at the top of the biscuit and then fan out your line slightly and go to the edge of the biscuit. From this edge, you can draw a line downwards and curve it slightly to the end, then repeat the shape on the other side, like we've done here. If this sounds too tricky, then simply pause this video on the shape and copy directly. We then need to add the ears. To do this, simply draw a line between the two curved edges and then to add the nose, draw another curved line just below halfway of the middle of the shape.
We also added two lines going from the head to the nose for detail. Now, time to flood. You can copy our colours or just go for your own. We flooded the ears with brown line icing and the sides of the face with a lighter brown icing. We then flooded the middle part of our dog's face with white flood icing as well as their nose. Let this dry and then we can add some details. We took our brown line icing and traced down the face and around the details that we made. Of course, we then need to add some eyes. We just did this with black line icing and created two little dots before using our black line icing again to add a nose and a mouth. And of course we had to add a little tongue. For that, we just used pink line icing and made a little C underneath the mouth and then filled it in. And there we have it, your dog biscuit is done. What should we call them? On to our penultimate biscuit. We decided to do an earth. Simply trace the outline of your biscuit with blue line icing and add a few wiggly shapes. We then flooded the earth with blue icing and the countries with green icing. Once this is dry, we can trace around each country with green line icing to help make them look more 3D. We also took our line icing and added some smaller countries and islands. You can do this however much you'd like. And that's our planet Earth done. On to the last of our circular shapes. We thought we'd save the best till last and put a smile on your faces. We are, of course, creating the iconic smiley. Simply go all the way around your biscuit with black line icing and then flood the entire thing in yellow flood icing. Once dry, we can add two eyes by drawing oval shapes and filling them in and then adding that iconic smile. We drew the curved line first for the smile and then added the dimples on afterwards by drawing little lines onto the end of the curved line. And there we are, your smiley face is finished. You can choose any of these designs to create your circular hand ice biscuit collection. If you do make any or decide to create your own biscuit, please tag us as we would love to see. Simply use the handle at BiscuitiersLTD or the hashtag BiscuitiersMagic. If you tag us using the hashtag BiscuitiersMagic, then you can win a free tin of biscuits. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy creating!